Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we'll have a look at several quality of life tips in Odini. So let's say I want to snap and orient an object to the windshield of this tuk-tuk. Going to set up the main model as reference by control clicking on the flag and drop a box in the network. Now I can enter the tool state by pressing enter and with the not key I can pick the location target and just left click. Finally, I can resize my box and do any further modifications to it. And of course, you can pick any lo location on the model. So the default hotkey doesn't work on my keyboard, which is shift semicolon, I believe. Just search for start orientation picking in the hotkey manager and assign your desired hotkey. Okay, now let's look at the new poly inch node and how to set it up procedurally. I just created a circle and dropped the node. And to enter the procedural mode you need to change it to position and orientation. I'm picking an angle of 90 degrees and you just need to move it, in this case along X. The older way of doing this is by creating a few copies and divide the angle by the number of copies minus one, move the pivot and finally skin the shapes. And you can see we have identical results. Let's fill the shape and extrude the patch group so we can look at some more scenarios. So for that I'm going to create a connectivity node on the prims and pick the patch in the include group. And we have now a class value for each part, but if we check the geometry spreadsheet we ended up with uh, some random values. The easier way to organize them is by using the enumerate nodes with the mode set to enumerate pieces. Now enter the select tool and pick the custom class attribute as a filter, in this case I'm going to select the class with value of 2 and isolate it with a blast. Drop a new inch node and select again the same class. And when we set it to position and your orientation we have this default result. So what we can do is to pick the centroid of the isolated class and immediately we will have the polygon snap to that location. Finally, we can adjust the position in Y to move it up. It might be a bit difficult at first to understand, but in the end it should make sense. So as other hotkeys, the default keyboard combination for smooth mesh preview doesn't work on my keyboard. But as you can see I set up another key and I'm able to switch between the smoothed version and default. You just need to go to the hotkey manager and search for subdivision, then change the keys. In my case I picked the keypad plus and minus. And if you press D on the viewport under the geometry tab you can change the level of detail for a smoother version. Now let's look at some selection modes in Odini. You can double click to flood fill to connect the geometry, but as I work with a tablet pen, that doesn't work all the time. So for those situations you can press edge and select to flood fill connected geo. To make our life easier, we can select by 3D connectivity and easily select multiple pieces of geo. You can see I'm trying to select the battery, but I was also picking geo on the back of the model and to avoid that you can enable select visible geometry only. And since this is a model I did in Maya and was exported with different pieces, I also have an alembic pet attribute, which in this case is not very organized, but it's another option to separate, organize and possibly apply different materials. And the last selection tip is on how to select between boundaries. I'm going to select this edge loop and another one on the right side. Now I can press Shift H in between and it will flood fill the selection. I can also press only H to select the polygons in between. When working with the edit node it can be frustrating switching between the select tool and the transform nodes. To avoid that you can uncheck secure selection and it will allow you to select even if you're using the transform tools. Ok, if you're in the camera tool pressing 1, 2, 3 and 4 will switch between camera views. But let's say you are on the left view and you need the right one. 
Well, just press again the same key and it will alternate between the right and left views. Same for top, bottom and front back. Another common problem is when you accidentally tilt the camera and now you can't really have control over your tumb tumbling. A quick fix is to press H and it will reset to the home view, a really useful hotkey. To zoom into a region you can pick the region with Ctrl Alt and drag. Another way to zoom is to double left click on the part of the geometry you want to zoom in. And the final tip is on how to use custom matcaps in Odini to check your shading issues. You can enter the matcap modes and if you press D under the material tab you'll find a matcap texture and pick your downloaded matcaps. I have these from Pixel Fondue which work great in Odini. And that's about it, so let me know in the comments if you learned something new and don't forget you can check out my Patreon page where I share all the project files from my videos. You can also find my procedural courses on Patreon shop, links below. Thank you and I'll see you next time.